Hey everyone, and welcome to another video here at Quixel. My name is Galen, and in today's video, we're going to be covering the Megascans Live Link for Houdini. In this brief video, we're going to cover the installation process of the Live Link as well as bringing a brand new asset into our Houdini scene. From there, we'll be extracting our final render from Redshift. Let's go ahead and get started. After I've downloaded Bridge, I'm going to go to my Downloaded tab on the left hand side of the UI. If you hover over any asset that you've downloaded fully, you can go to the Export Settings window where we're going to get our download prompt. We'll need to set Houdini as our target application for this download, so I'll go ahead and do that now. After clicking the Download Plugin button, you'll notice that Bridge will prompt you in the top right corner of the screen that the download has completed successfully. Let's jump into Houdini now. After you start or restart Houdini, you'll be able to see a brand new dropdown at the top of the UI. After clicking the Megascans Live Link button, you'll be able to see a brand new box pop up in the UI. There are several options we can choose from here in the Megascans Live Link for Houdini. For this example, we're going to be using Redshift as our target renderer. It's important to note that you can choose a wide variety of material workflows inside of the Live Link. It seems that the plugin is working correctly, so let's bring an asset into the scene. Tabbing back over to Bridge, this Icelandic assembly will be perfect for this scene. With all my export settings looking good, let's bring this into the scene. The import process takes care of everything that you need. As you can see, my normal map, displacement map, and roughness are all perfectly calibrated for the material designation that we selected earlier. Redshift does an amazing job of showcasing the quality of these scans. I'm pretty happy with the results that we've got here. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button as we're going to be hitting this channel with a ton of new content over the coming months. Once again, my name is Galen and we'll see you guys next time.